My mom, Abigail, is my hero because even though we're going through a tough situation with her boyfriend, it's okay because I know she's strong. Even though I know my mom tries to help us so much, I just hope she doesn't forget what he's done to me. And good afternoon, I'm Diane Sawyer at ABC News. I... Hey. Birthday girl. She come over here and sit by me. I know you hear me. Why is this place so messy? Everybody's just sitting in the middle of it. Why didn't you have her clean up? You're supposed to be watching her for me. I hate to see what you let her get away with while I'm at work. Look, I'm not her daddy. Now, if you want a daddy for her, you can go get her one. What's the matter with you? Look, you come in here trying to cut my balls off. Don't you ever talk to me like that again. You understand me? What did you say to him? I'm talking to you. God. You said you never hit me again. You don't want to be hit? Don't make me hit you. Who is that? I don't know. I don't know. Who is it? Good morning. Is this the home of Tamara Smith? Well, she's not home. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. This is the home of Tamara Smith. Lady, you need to get the hell out of here before you get hurt. You wouldn't be hurting anybody else in there, would you? I'm from the Chicago Department of Children and Family Services. We've received some complaints from one of your neighbors about hearing disturbances of, of possible beatings, and I'm just here to... Did you call them? Did you? Tamara Smith? Hi, I'm Donna. I'm here to take you to a safe place. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You can't come in here and just threaten to take my daughter away from me. Mrs. Smith, detainment was not my reason for coming here this Fine. morning. Fine, then go tell whoever called you. It wasn't until I heard the altercation between you and your husband. I ain't a husband. Boy, friend, that I changed my mind. Tamara is coming with me. How you just gonna come in here and, and try Nobody and take them out of here? Nobody is taking my daughter away me. from me. Yes. Yes, I am. Look, everything is fine here. Everything is okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just that it is just so hard to focus on what you're saying. When that busted lip, it is just so distracting. Donna. You're supposed to wait for us to get up here before you come up. You know the rules. Well, then next time, hurry up. A person can get hurt waiting around for you. Yeah, right. So what are we doing, Donna? Removing the child. Wait a minute. Ma'am? Are you all right? What happened here? Ma'am, do you feel threatened or that your life is in danger in any way? Shy. Sure. We're asking the lady. Tamara. It's okay. Don't touch her. I don't want to go with you. I want to stay with my mom. Mommy's going to get you back, okay? Look, ma'am, you have to call the DCFS office and talk to them about going to court and getting custody of your daughter back, okay? Let's go, Donna. You know what? You're lucky you got somebody protecting you. Or 
or what? I'm not gonna let you hit me. And I damn sure won't let you hurt that little girl again. Crazy. Crazy bitch. Well, at least you know who you're talking to. Don't you ever do that again. What are you looking at? Excuse me. Are you done already? Maria Gonzalez? Yes. Well, come on. Maria, you were late on your first day of work. Is this what I can expect from you? If you're gonna be my new assistant, then you need to understand that I have no problems with exaggeration. When I say 815 at the office, it really does mean 815 at the office. I'm sorry. Were you late like this for your graduate classes too? No. Oh, so you just feel like it's okay to be late for appointments with me? No, I've wanted to do this all my life. I graduated at the top of my class and I studied really hard to do it. I just wanted to be prepared. Prepared? Honey, I don't care how much studying you do. Nothing can prepare you for this job. Don't make eye contact with anyone. They'll stop and ask you a million questions. Just follow me. You'll be sitting over there. Hi. So, what's the first thing you want me to do? You need coffee? I make my own coffee, sweetie. You know what? Actually, you can help me with making a few phone calls. We have to find Tamara, a foster parent. I don't need a foster parent. Yes, you do. I want to be with my mom. No, you don't. A uh, lot of needs in here are crossed out. A few. <laughs> Cute, right? <laughs> It's okay, you can look at it, it's a picture. That's what you're supposed to do with it. He might be a little cutie pie now, but he'll be fighting the girls off with a stick once he gets potty trained. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go home. How about you go into the playroom and watch some TV? I'll come get you when it's time to go. What am I supposed to say? Tell them who you are, who you work for, and what you want. 
And if they say no, say thank you, hang up, and dial the next number in the book. Hello? Mr. Robertson? My name is Maria, and I work at the Department of Children and Family Services. Billy! <laughs> What's happening, baby? It's Donna Ray. Here's what I got. I just removed a little girl from a home where her mother's boyfriend was very abusive. She's pretty much a danger to the whole family. Donna Ray, I need to see you in my office right now! Oh, no. No. They call in another lady named Donna. Anyway, just removed her about an hour ago and I gotta find a place for her. Can you take her? I don't always give you the hard ones. It just, it just happens to fall that way. Can you take her? Donna! Donna Ray! You know, she's a sweet little girl. She just has some bad points. Here she comes. Great. Thank you, baby. You always come through for me. <laughs> I drop her off in an hour. someone's house and locked out your police escort? What the hell kind of sense does that make? Don't ever hang up the phone on me while I'm doing my job. One of the officers told me that you were confrontational with this guy. And so what? What do you want? I'm warning you. One of these days, you are going to get hurt. Are you mad? Are you mad because I'm doing a better job than you ever did? Oh, please. You can't touch my record. Or you're mad because you can't fire me. Oh, I can fire you. No, you can't. The hell I can. On what grounds? For taking a little girl out of a situation that it was clearly unsafe for her to be in? I think that's what you pay me to do. Look, do not turn this around on me. And now I'm trying to find a foster home for her. But instead, I'm in here wasting time with you. You know what? I got your warning. Now you listen to mine. Don't you ever interfere with me doing my job. Really? I get things done. <laughs> you can't afford to lose me, and I know that. <laughs> You're disgusted by that, aren't you? Overwhelmingly. Ah, uh, yeah, well, guess what? I know how you feel. Because it seems that I can't fire you either. Oh, yeah. That's a picture of my husband and I in the long weekend in the Bahamas. When he was married to you, he just sat on the couch. Didn't you say you always wanted to go to the islands? Are we done? I want you to write a letter of apology to your escorting officers. And don't ever, ever do this again. You got it? One of these days, not even your friends in high places is going to be able to save you. Joseph? Hey. hey, what's up, big guy? Oh, you're here again? Mm -hmm. Well, we got to find a better home for you quick. Oh. Hey, come on, Tamara, let's go. I'm ready to go home. Well, I found a better place than home for you right now, okay? I'll explain in the car. Oh, you all right? <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. You all right? Who was that lady? That was Miss Evers. She's the boss. Our boss? That's what everybody else calls her. Hello? Get your stuff. You'll be coming with us. Yeah, this is she. 
Is he all right? <sighs> Do what you can to keep him dry. I'll be right down. Yes, I know this has happened before. Thanks for calling. Bye. What's wrong now? It's my son. Is he all right? If you call peeing on himself for the third time this month in front of his entire class, all right. You know what? We'll just have to make a stop at his school after we drop her off. Drop me off? At home? Very funny. Let's go. I know this is all difficult for you to understand right now. I can't imagine how you're feeling about everything. Why couldn't you just take him away? I can only do what the law allows me to do. You know, these things just take time. How much time? As much time as it takes. You know, your mother has to get out of that situation first and do some things. In the meantime, we found a safe place for you to stay. I'm gonna get you examined by a doctor. I'm not sick. I don't need a doctor. That's not the type of examination I'm talking about. Can I get a little background information on what's going on? Do you mind, Tamara? It's believed that Tamara has been abused by her mother's boyfriend, TJ, for a few months now. Tamara has been afraid to say anything because TJ has threatened to hurt her. But now that we're here, I'm gonna make sure that everything is made right. I have to go to school. I have to get the rest of my stuff. I'm gonna get you new things, sweetie. And I'm transferring you to a new school. Who told you about the alleged abuse? An anonymous caller. Well, how do you know so much information about the case already? Because my anonymous caller had all the details to give. Do you get many of those? Not nearly enough. Billy! Hi, Donna. She's a little older than the kids we normally foster. Nothing wrong with a little change of pace, right? This little angel is Tamara. Hi, Tamara. I'm Billy. Hi, Donna. Hey, what's up, Jason? You're gay? Quite a little angel, isn't she? Doesn't matter if they're gay or not, they're willing to help you when others won't. Except tips on how to get a man. Well, excluding charm, grace, and manners, I'm sure you're perfect. This is my trainee, Maria. Hi, Maria. Hi, it's my pleasure meeting the both of you. Hey, uh, why don't you all come in? No! <laughs> Actually, I have another appointment that just came up, and Maria and I can't stay. You go on inside, honey. I'll be back in a couple of hours, OK? And then we can sit down and talk. I have to get you clothes, Whatever. and I have to. Hey, hey uh, how about I show you to your room? It's not my room, because I'm not staying here. Seems to have a bit of an attitude. Look, you don't know how much I appreciate this. She's been through a lot. We all have. When are you going to come back and talk to us and give us more background so information? In an hour or two at the most, OK? I promise. Thank you. Thanks again. It's 11 o'clock, and none of you guys are at work. So, which one's the man and which one's the bitch? Is he all right? I brought more pants. I'm happy you're here. Accidents happen. Well, it's been happening for quite some time. This as well as his changes in behavior. You haven't been returning my calls. I didn't know you were trying to call me. Maybe we should talk out in the hall. How many times had you called? Have you called? Your son has been connected to many disciplinary actions as of late. He started a food fight in the cafeteria. He's constantly disrupting other students' studies, especially the young ladies. And now this outburst today. I mean, you're his teacher, and I do respect your opinion. But are those the only reasons that you've been trying to reach me? 
Full fights are started and participated in by both good and bad students. And as far as him messing around with the girls, I mean, come on. And the outburst today, I'm assuming you're talking about the accident in his pants. And I mean, it was an accident. I don't know any other way of saying this, but your son shows all of the customary signs of having disabilities. Disabilities? Probably ignited by poor or non-existent home training or supervision, and it's disrupting the rest of my class. Now, I'd like to think that your son's well-being is top priority in your life. It is in mine. Well, here are his pants. He can wear them here. Since his father left us, I'll be wearing them at home. Your job is to teach him academically. Mine is to raise and teach him personally. And if you care about him or any other of your students for that matter, it would better serve you to get all of the facts or at least ask before you brand a child in pain and confusion as being a troublemaker or disabled. I mean, your class is disrupted, you can start over. His life is disrupted, and there is nothing either he or I can do about it. Now, as far as those missed phone messages, you know, I'll talk to him tonight when I get home about that. Well, I wasn't aware of the change in living situation. In my line of work, I like to make house calls to check up on my students. I could do that for him. Do you have kids? Yes, two. Well, maybe in my line of work, I'll make a house call to you too. Why didn't you go off on her? Well, I've learned to pick and choose my battles, especially when it's a teacher fighting for your son. Fight everybody with an attitude, you're a bitch. Fight the ones that deserve it, you're a hero. Another thing you need to remember is that there are normally two types of people in our line of work. A victim of circumstances mm -hmm. and a victim of choice. What's wrong? Come with me. I'm really glad that you came to us. I want you to know that we're going to... May we interrupt? You know Miss Smith, don't you? Yeah, I saw her this morning. Would you like to talk? Who is she? She's my new trainee. It's okay to talk in front of her. Maria, this is our anonymous caller. You called in your daughter to have it removed? I thought it was Tamara that- No, no. No one loves Tamara more than her mother. The problem here is that no one loves their mother more than Tamara. You see, Tamara wouldn't leave until the day her and her mother could leave together. Abigail just needs a little help doing her part. Is she okay? Mm-hmm. I didn't mean for it to be today. I wish it could have been any other day, but I just couldn't take it anymore. What do you mean today? You know what? It doesn't matter what day it is, Mrs. Smith. What you did was a brave thing. I never saw anybody stand up to him the way you did. You know what? You could do the same thing, but I wouldn't recommend it without two armed police officers outside your door. The police don't help. They show up and cause more problems, then say they can't do anything else then leave you with the man who's more angry than when you called in the first place. I can't put my daughter in that kind of situation. It's not safe. She wouldn't leave on her own. It's not safe for either of you. You gotta get out of there. This is not easy for me, Donna. I don't know if I can do it. You can do anything. And you won't be alone. I'm here for you. Wait a minute, that's my phone. Hello? You've already taken the first step. Wait a minute, what did she do? What's wrong, what happened? Maybe it's not as bad as I thought. What do you mean? Men are different than women. My dad was the same way to my mom as TJ is to me. Miss Smith. He's just going through a really rough time right now, but he does care about me. Miss Smith, let's slow down. 
and let's look at the facts. And Tamara, too. He just has a really hard time showing it, but he does love her. Yeah, well, maybe just a little too much. I don't want to lose you as a foster parent. Maybe if I'm just patient with him one more day. Miss Smith, this man may be assaulting your daughter. He's not the caring and compassionate man you want him to be, and he never will be. He needs help, and so do you. Who are you? You don't know him. I come from a family of four brothers, and I'm the only girl. My uncle was closer to all of us, closer to me than he should have been. I was scared and confused, but- And you don't know me either. You know what? I'm going home. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mrs. Smith, do you really think that's the best decision to make right now? It's fine. Look, we'll set up an exam for Tamara first thing in the morning. And when I get the results back, if your fears are true, you don't have a thing to worry about. I can take it from there. I can make the hard decisions after that. Trust me, I'll take this thing to a level where you won't ever have to be afraid of him again. Things are moving in the right direction, right? That was Billy and Jason on the phone. You start making phone calls, I'm gonna get some coffee. Is that true what you said about your uncle? Yeah. Glad to see you using that pain for something constructive. It comes in handy, trust me. Did it happen to you too? Me? Nah. Then why do you do it? Well, why not? Somebody has to do it. Hey, Loretta. Nice to see you. Look at you, looking as beautiful as ever. Jack, look at you. You looking good, too. Mwah. So good seeing you guys again. Thank you. I would like to thank you both for taking her on such short notice. Poor thing, how could we ever turn away such a sweet child? You know, I have somebody rush out and get some additional groceries. What kinds of food do you like, sweetie? That's okay, honey. We understand. These people have been fostering for me for the past seven years now. They are the most reliable and loving people that I know. Oh, excuse me. I can't tell you how shocked and grateful we are that you decided to cancel your trip to stay here with her. Oh, a trip can be moved. Mm -hmm. The opportunity to share in this little princess's experience, that's priceless. Besides, our grandson would enjoy playing with her. Right, Donnie? Hi. I want ice cream. We'll be leaving now. Again, thank you so much. Anytime. You be good. And you do good things, OK? Let's go. Goodbye. Bye. I want ice cream. I got your text message. I knew you would still be mad. Of course I'm still mad. What were you trying to do? You can't just go lock yourself in a place and... How many times do I have to apologize? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> do you forgive me now? And should I help you forgive me later? <laughs> you know, growing up, I used to always be into the timid girls. You know, the nice, quiet, shy ones that squeak when they talk. <laughs> well, good thing you stopped growing because I don't squeak for nobody. Donna, no man likes their woman being more macho than he is. Your ex-husband didn't. And I don't need them. Don't ever do that again. You understand? Unless it's my son, tell him I'm not here. Hello, Donna Ray's phone. Do you have any vacation days left? 
Why? You want to go to the Bahamas? Ah. Okay, okay. I understand. I'm so sorry. We're not that far away. We'll be right there. What happened? Ah! Oh, my God. She's in the kitchen. Maria, ah! see if you can stop his hair from bleeding. Is that the Smith kid? Oh, you look nice. My husband and I are attending a private function and can't dress down a thousand dollar plate dinner, you know? By the way, I spoke to her mother this afternoon and I didn't get any paperwork. Oh, um, we hadn't done it yet. I know, and that's the first thing you do. Do your job and do it right. Don't get started on the wrong foot, Miss Gonzalez. This time, I did it for you. You don't think I got to where I am by not checking up behind my people, do you? I don't have time to do your job for you or anybody else either. Thank you. And while your trainer was out trying to prove a point, I found something in a report that Donna failed to do. This will change a few things about this case. Oh. Why did this happen to me? I didn't do anything. Everybody wants to hurt me. That's not true. Tamara, I know this is a lot to deal with now. You may hear this or you may not. But please know that your mother is not trying to hurt you. She wants to help you. Problem is, she doesn't know how to help herself. I can help her. No, Tamara, you can't help her. Heck, I can't help her. She has to help herself. And you gotta help yourself, too. I have dreams at night about killing him. Do you also have dreams about spending the rest of your life in jail? This little girl, she can't. Look, she can't be in that situation. It is what it is. I want this fixed in 20 minutes. Your carelessness would cost us a lawsuit and our jobs. I do hope they don't prosecute. What are you doing now? Cleaning up behind you. What are you talking about, Evers? What's today, Donna? It's her birthday, her 18th birthday. You cannot remove an adult recognized by the state of Illinois as 18 years of age. She is no longer our concern. Is that true? I can go home? Regardless if it's true or not. It is. Yes, it is. You can go wherever you want to go, whenever you need to go. You're 24 hours too late, Donna. Listen to me. Your mother doesn't want you in that situation. And she's doing the best she can to get you out of it. She was the anonymous caller. Why would you want to go back to a, an abusive situation that could hurt you? 
Why would I leave my mother in that type of situation, Donna? Would you? I have to go. You are no longer a ward of the state. You are now recognized to make any and all your decisions concerning your well-being and are not required to do anything without a subpoena or an order from a judge. This whole day is a waste of taxpayers' money. And Donna, I sure hope that you do your paperwork first next time. And Maria, I hope this has taught you a valuable lesson about your passion for your job and professionalism for that job. Just because you have one, does it mean you have the other? Evers. No, that's it. You will recognize the law and take Miss Smith wherever she needs to go or give her cab fare. You go ahead and go home. I'll take care of this and see you in the morning. Are you sure? I can go with you. I'm fine, thank you. I want to go home. Yes, ma'am. What happened? I'm sorry, but things are just out of my hands right now. See? See what happens when you rely on the authorities to help you? Is your boyfriend here? He's in the bedroom. Okay, listen to me. I trusted you. I need you to talk to Tamara. She's not listening to me. Baby, I who was that? Well, look who it is. You thought you were just going to take her. Well, I guess you're not the woman that you thought you were, huh? Don't think just because she's back that I lost. I'm patient and I'm smart. And I'll be checking up on both of them. Because if I hear about you doing anything to either one of them, you're the one that's going to need a police escort. You think I'm done? Oh, I'm just getting started. Sorry I'm late, Mama. You're always late. And I'm always sorry. There's a lot going on at work. There's a lot going on here at home, too. Where is he? He's in the other room. Probably sleep by now. Talk to your teacher today. <laughs> Very insightful lady. She told me that she tried calling me several times and left me some messages about some trouble you had gotten into at school. <laughs> Funny. 
Never got those messages. The world has enough trouble of its own. And we need to be a part of the solution and not the problem. So, the next time I have to tell you this, you're going to be grounded for a month. No phone calls, no video games, no TV. It'll be straight home, straight to your room, do your homework, and then straight to bed. Do you understand me? You forgot to snore. Too late. You can't ground me for a month just because I erased a few messages. For that? And picking on kids at school? Starting food fights? Are you a bully? Am I raising a bully now? No. You're lucky I don't make it two months. I'm just mad. Do you ever get mad, mama? Yeah, I've had my days. What do you do when you get mad? Different things work for different people, Junior. But when I get mad, Tina gets so mad, she just want to cry. Like you cry when Daddy left? Yes. But then I, I calm myself down and I wait. I wait until I feel better and I can handle things like a grown-up. What if you're not a grown-up? and I handle it the best that I can. Not with food fights, not with starting trouble at school, and not with erasing messages out of fear. And I ask for plenty of advice. No, you don't. Well, I'm working on it. Are you gonna leave too? No, never. Promise? Junior. One thing I learned today, more than anything else, is that it would take something really serious, really bad, to separate a mother from her child. That bad thing for me, it doesn't exist. Nothing, nothing can break that bond between a mother and her child. I love you, mommy. <laughs> Come here. <sighs> Mama loves you too. <sighs>